Jessica from over here at Times of CNC. I'm at the Robo Drill today, and we're going to be jumping straight into it. And I'm going to be showing you how to program a Fanuc LR Mate 200. What we're going to be doing is just going from a point A position where I'm going to have a puck and go into a point B position, which is my pneumatic vise inside of my machine, and placing it inside. When it comes to our end effector on our robot, we have a PGN Plus 64 and our machine jaws that you may have seen in a previous video where we started with 3D prototypes, and this is what we got for our production. So now that you know all that, let's get after it. This is going to be the home screen for your Fennec Teach Pendant, which comes with the LRMate robot and all other models of robots that Fennec has. From this page, we're gonna hit the select button. And that select button brings us directly to where we hold all of our programs that are on our teach pendant and from here we're going to need to create a brand new program so we can start plotting points f2 is going to be our create button now from here we need to give our program a name i like going down to the options and keypad so i can hit f5 which is keyboard and from here we can give it a name for video purposes, we can put test one, one, since we're doing it in November. Once you figure out your name, we're gonna hit exit. You can see it populate right under program name. And from here, we're gonna hit F2, which is detail. Now, the only thing that we really have to worry on this screen for right now is going down to group mask and what these two ones are is basically when you have multiple groups. So our robot in itself is group one. We have a servo door on our robo drill, which would be the second one. And since we're not going to be utilizing both of those at the same time in this video, we are gonna set that to an asterisk, which is F5. And so now we'll just be working around the arm itself. Once we're done with that, we can hit F1, which is end. And now we're ready to start adding points. From here, what I like to do is hit our next key, which will arrow over and hit F5 for edit. And I just like inserting by hitting enter lines. And it's gonna ask us how many lines we would like to enter. I just give myself some space. So I will put in 10, enter, now, the first thing that we can do is open up our servo door. So we have a lot more mobility when it comes to moving our robot arm. To do this, we're gonna go to F1, which is insert. And we are gonna actually call the open door program by going down to six, hitting enter. We're gonna select call program. And now it's asking us, what do we wanna do? So we're actually going to go over to F2, which is a macro settings. So these are all of our macros that you can customize. We have a door open and door close for the servo. We are going to go to door open, enter, and boom, right there, we have our first line of code for our robot program, and it is called door open. Now that we have this first line of code in, we actually want to utilize it to open our door so we can start moving our robot around to get our point pickups. To do that, you need to press on your dead man in the back. If you have a dead man switch released alarm, you need to hit reset. There's no faults. So now we can hold shift forward and it goes to the macro program to open our door. We're just going to keep hitting forward until our door opens and it's gonna stay on line two until the door fully opens to what we programmed it to previously. Now that it's open, we will keep hitting forward until it gets out of the macro program and we are now back in our code to write our program. All right, so after following those steps, what you'll have now is a robot program that is ready for you to add in your codes to get things moving. 
In our next series of videos, we're gonna have things showing you how to move the robot arm. We're gonna show you how to pick and place parts. We have pneumatic vice, so your machine and robot can work together. It's gonna be great stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can follow us through that entire journey. You'll learn everything along the way. And we're gonna have all new robot content on our Titans of CNC Academy. We even just dropped our SolidWorks footage on there as well. So go over and check it out.